All right. So, CIS. Three thirty-two, database and management systems. Day nine, two twenty-two seventeen. We did some work that needed to be submitted. We did the practice work. Prepare us for the skills based. <clears throat> Section 4, they need to be working on their outline, and you got to come up with your own database for Section 4. All right. <clears throat> Starting to talk about entity relationship diagrams. Or actually here we're just talking about that entity relationship. So you have an entity, here we have some attributes, what type of attribute that leads us into talking about constraints, right? You get to type, you know, could be, uh, could be characters, text, could be numeric, you know, like an integer or whatever, could be a date, okay? And then there could be constraint on that. Like the date could be constrained between two dates. Or the numeric, you know, it would have to be greater than or maybe less than some particular value. Characters, maybe only five characters and so forth. And then eventually these constraints lead us to, do you have an entity? that is tied to another entity and what is the relationship between those. So then relational databases are based on these relationships between, okay, so here I'm reviewing what we just had over there. Got an entity, person, place, or thing, and it has characteristics things that define the entity. We call them attributes when referring to a relational database. I already mentioned that. What type and is there any constraint on the attribute? We've got a wide range of types we can and then we can add a constraint, a limitation. And this becomes even more important as we build the relationships. The relationships between the entities, there are more than this, but we're only going to cover these in this class. One to one, one to many, many to many. So we had an example we did in class. We have a student related to the country. One student can only be related to one country. But if we're going this way, one country could have many students. Just as an example. <clears throat> okay? So, a little review. We need to be able to design a database. So, the way we're going to do that, we're going to look at entities. And then we are going to build relationships between the entities. The entities are going to have attributes. Characteristics that define the entities. Some entities may be a weak entity which makes it reliant on another entity. Relationship can be weak also. Okay. So you can see now we're looking at a conceptual view, concept, and then we'll break it down into a, a logical view where we'll start creating the tables.
That's it.